Welcome to PH Insight. Know the force, behind the flag. Whether it's warships, fighter jets, or the next big defense move, if it matters to Philippine security, it's here. When most people picture naval power, they imagine towering warships bristling with massive guns and missiles, frigates, destroyers, or even aircraft carriers. Yet in the modern era of naval warfare, especially for archipelagic nations like the Philippines, the vessels that may tip the balance at sea are not always the biggest. Meet the Philippine Navy's Acero-class Fast Attack Interdiction Craft, FAIC Sleek, Fast, and Compact Boats, each less than 35 meters in length. On paper, they might look modest compared to the Navy's larger surface combatants like the Jose Rizal-class frigates. But a quiet capability, still largely hidden from public view, may transform these small craft into precision strike platforms with power that belies their size. The key to this transformation. A little-known missile called the Sea Breaker. Today's fast attack craft are a far cry from their predecessors. Traditionally, these boats relied on machine guns, autocannons, and possibly short-range anti-ship missiles. Their role was mostly coastal defense, to harass, deter, or damage enemy ships operating close to shore. But technology has redefined what these craft can do. Modern missile systems, small, lightweight, yet highly capable, mean that even a vessel displacing only a few dozen tons can threaten much larger ships, or even coastal installations, from surprising distances. For the Philippine Navy, the first step into this modern age began with the multipurpose attack craft, MPAC, fleet. Built in the Philippines, these boats were modified to carry spike ER missiles, precision-guided, short-range weapons developed by Israel's Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. Later, the Navy also adopted the Spike NLOS, non-line-of-sight, version, with a range of up to 30 kilometers. These missiles are not as powerful or long-ranged as heavy anti-ship missiles like the Harpoon or Exocet, but they're perfectly suited to the Philippine environment, archipelagos, narrow straits, and shallow waters where small boats can ambush larger ships and then vanish. This strategy aligns with what's known in naval circles as swarm tactics, multiple small, fast boats attacking from different directions, overwhelming the enemy's defenses not with brute force, but with speed and coordination. Commissioned starting in 2022, the Acero-class FAIC represents the next evolution in the Philippine Navy's literal combat force. Based on the Israeli-designed Shaldag MKV, these boats are built by Israel shipyards, with a planned fleet size of 15 vessels. They are faster and more heavily armed than the earlier impacts, equipped with a stabilized 30mm Typhoon gun and designed to carry spike NLOS missiles. Importantly, the Acero class features modern electronic systems and combat management suites, making them capable of operating in concert with other naval assets, drones, or shore-based radars. As of today, six Acero class boats have entered service. Four of them already carry the Spike NLOS missiles, giving them impressive short to medium range striking power. Yet during the ADAS 2022 and 2024 defense exhibitions in Manila, this writer learned something surprising from conversations with Israel shipyards representatives. The Acero class, thanks to its Shaldag MKV origins, can also be configured to carry a very different weapon, the Sea Breaker missile. The Sea Breaker is a recent addition to Rafael's missile family introduced publicly only in the last few years. It is a low-observable, sea-skimming cruise missile, weighing around 400 kilograms, light enough to be mounted on relatively small platforms. What truly sets it apart is its range, up to 300 kilometers. Unlike the Spike NLOS, which is effective at around 30 kilometers, the Sea Breaker can strike targets almost 10 times farther away. This missile is also highly versatile. It's designed to hit moving ships at sea or fixed and mobile targets on land. Its advanced guidance system combines GPS, inertial navigation, and an electro-optical seeker, assisted by AI-based algorithms. In plain terms, it can pick out specific targets in cluttered environments, even if they're trying to maneuver or hide among civilian ships. At sea level, flying just a few meters above the waves, the sea breaker is difficult to detect until it's too late. And because it's fire and forget, 
the launching platform can retreat immediately after firing, keeping the crew safe from counterattack. For the Philippine Navy, acquiring the Sea Breaker would mean that its smallest warships could suddenly strike high-value targets at ranges once reserved for large frigates. The implications are profound. Imagine a fleet of small, fast boats scattered across the country's 7,600 islands, each capable of launching missiles that can hit enemy warships, supply convoys, or coastal missile batteries hundreds of kilometers away. This would vastly complicate any adversary's plans, they couldn't be sure where the threat might appear next. In effect, the Navy could feel the dispersed, mobile, and unpredictable strike force that punches far above its weight. This capability aligns with modern defense thinking, in an age of long-range precision weapons, having many small launch platforms can sometimes be better than having a few large, vulnerable ships. At the moment, there's an interesting detail in the Acero-class story. While six ships are now in service, only two-thirds are armed with Spike NLOS missiles. Specifically, the following four vessels do not yet carry them, BRP Nestor Acero, PG-901, BRP Lalanado Tuong, PG-902, BRP Jenner Tinangag, PG-903, BRP Domingo Deluana, PG-905. Some observers see this as a temporary gap, waiting for more spike missiles to arrive. But it also raises a possibility, what if these four boats are instead used to introduce the longer-range sea breaker? Rather than having a uniform fleet, the Navy could create a mixed-force approach, some boats optimized for close to medium-range engagements with spike NLOS and others configured for long-range precision strikes. This would increase the Navy's flexibility and make its literal force far more unpredictable. Of course, integrating a missile like the Sea Breaker isn't just about bolting launchers onto the deck. The real challenge is targeting. The Sea Breaker can strike targets far beyond the horizon, well outside the radar range of a small boat. To use it effectively, the Acero-class boats would need to be connected to a larger sensor and battle management network. Here, there's encouraging news. Last year, the Philippine Navy completed the integration of secure data sharing systems on the first six Acero-class boats. This system allows them to receive targeting data from maritime patrol aircraft UAVs, drones, coastal radar stations larger Navy ships through this network, an Acero-class boat doesn't have to see the target itself. Instead, it becomes the shooter in a sensor-to-shooter chain, someone else finds the target, and the Acero-class delivers the missile. 